All right, so here's a uh, short video of me running the uh, uh, one gauge power wire. This is made by uh, New Concepts. As you can clearly see, um, this cable is pretty badass. I mean, look at the diameter compared to my finger. And it's a lot of small strands. Really great cable. Anyway, I'm going to be hooking that up here. This uh, ring terminal that's a piece of shit is going to get replaced with a correct one for 4 gauge cable. This 4 gauge was supplying my uh, base amp right now, which is just a, it's a thousand watt amp. It's CEA compliant. It's really 880 watts RMS. Um, and it's not enough power for my new sub. My sub is 1000 watts RMS. It's a lethal injection uh, incriminator audio. It lethal injection 12 inch. So I'm giving it a shitload more power. Here's my uh, power cable here. I'm gonna add the uh, fuse um, right around here somewhere. So I'm gonna have to cut it here, add the fuse, put on the, uh, the lug ring terminal there. This is passing through the inside of this uh, uh, quarter panel, front quarter panel. Then it is coming in through here. What's gonna be a pain in the ass is uh, tucking this cable, this thick ass cable along with my four gauge to, uh, to fit underneath these uh, panels. Anyway, I've got it going in through behind this uh, center pillar. It's coming in through here. And hopefully this will all, uh, uh, all the fixtures will pop back on because this is some heavy ass gauge wire and here it is going underneath uh, so you can see this is my back seats um, this is going underneath here and it's reaching the trunk so and uh, also did some sound deadening here because uh, this was just bare metal to the outside and this is really reducing a lot of road noise so I did it in the center here I did it over there over here um, and uh, yeah we're uh, we're getting